Good morning. Donald Trump had an improvised campaign, but there is no such thing as improvised presidency. At least that was what Obama, Barack Obama said in an interview. Um, Donald Trump right now is in the process of building up an organization within, the, uh, within Washington. Must see how this unfolds. One must see that was what Obama in the interview actually uh, demanded, that certain norms must not be eroded. Um, we saw that over the weekend, uh, a court um, over, somewhat overruled Trump in the immigration um, executive order that he passed. So we see that not everything can be actually done by executive orders. There are a lot of things this year that need to go through Congress and to, through the different uh, chambers in Washington. So let's see how it unfolds. The um, finance minister, Munchin, said that there will be no proprietary trading for U.S. banks anymore. He's not going into that direction, but there will be deregulation in the Dodd-Frank Act. Uh, Dodd-Frank has been a disaster. That's what um, the uh, U.S. government says, and it will be changed. So there will be deregulation coming to the U.S. banks, which actually makes U.S. banks more competitive in comparison to UK banks in comparison to EU banks. So that is something that needs an answer actually from, 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 from the UK and also from Brussels. Barron's, the US investment magazine, the big one, is actually a very big one, actually titled Dow Jones 30,000 points is coming. So is that a question that from a contrarian standpoint that the rally is already over? Um, before the last crash, that was in the year 2006 or 7, I guess, there was a Barron's title saying Dow Jones 36,000 points. So that was a contrarian signal that really nailed it. So as I said in the introduction of this uh, video, uh, all the tax cuts that are being priced in within this rally are being or they cannot come via executive order it needs to go through congress so there will be somewhat um uh, the more the market r is rising the more it's moving towards somewhat slippery slope because there will be uncertainty if that um, tax cuts are really going to pass as the markets are expecting them right now